have started uh, uh, screening and treat, and then later on treating uh, depression selectively in uh, patients about four years ago. There was a, an initiative uh, in uh, Kansas City to uh, get screening started for heart disease uh, patients uh, for depression, and uh, I have worked with my med tech and nurses to uh, get that screening program integrated into our workflow. I think it's a benefit to the patients because like I said, some of them don't even know they were depressed. Um, it doesn't upset the workflow. We're screening about 100 patients a year and uh, selectively in patients who I don't think are going to seek treatment on their own. I uh, am now starting to use low dose SSRIs with uh, I think some good results and no apparent problems. I use the PHQ-9 uh, which is also called the Prime MD. It's uh, nine questions that are, are scored on a zero to three basis and uh, nine questions up to three points per question so I don't have to count past 27 and can add it in my head. So, um, and the grading is you know pretty simple. Uh, zero to four is no apparent depression, five to nine mild, uh, moderate, 10 to 14 and moderately severe and then severe 20 and up. I think most people who are um, feeling bad have some idea that they know that depression exists. They may not have been diagnosed before. Uh, sometimes I give it to someone who's on an SSRI already. Uh, I say SSRI, there are other antidepressants, but the vast majority of the patients I see who are, have known heart disease are on SSRI because they're probably the safest drug. Um, and then I may give the quiz just to see if they're on a low dose of, uh, of a drug, just to see if their score is three, you know, sub-threshold for a diagnosis, or it's, you know, moderately severe depression. And we give them this form and they find out, and Dr. Porter does refer some of them back to the primary care physician for treatment. But it is something that gives you an ability to, to substantiate the diagnosis, and sometimes you can talk to people and you know, they're kind of, it's depressing to talk to them, but they have a low score, and then you're thinking, well, I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, it's out of my hands, I've at least taken a look. Usually, you bring a patient in to see the doctor, and the doctor's going to come in right away. He's more than likely in a room with another patient. This gives the patient time to fill it out, and they've got something besides a magazine, and it might help them figure out that maybe they are depressed. There was a recent uh, meta-analysis shows that in in adults uh, treated for depression that SSRI uh, therapy reduces the chance of suicidal attempt or uh, completion uh, by depending on the age group 35 to uh, 50 percent with better response in the elderly patients. The adolescents have a higher risk of suicidal in, uh, uh, attempt or uh, uh, completion uh, with SSRIs but that's not my practice so I I think if you know if I can reduce that kind of behavior by 40 to 40 percent with a simple diagnosis, maybe a prescription and a, you know, advice to seek further help. I, I think it's, it's a pretty good day.